Do you, do you have a bodyguard? Do you have... No. You don't? I got one bodyguard. He has no eyes, though he sees. He has no ears, though he hears. He remembers everything with the aid of mind and memory. When he wishes to create a thing, he just orders it to be and it comes into existence. But this order is not conveyed in words which takes a tongue to formulate or which sound carries ears. He hears the secrets of those on the quiet thoughts. He stops those whom who's that? That's God. Oh, he's my bodyguard. He's your bodyguard. When we finally arrived, the chauffeur escorted my sister, Layla, and me up to my father's suite. As usual, he was hiding behind the door, waiting to scare us. We exchanged many hugs and kisses as we could possibly give in one day. My father took a good look at us, then he sat me down on his lap and said something that I will never forget. He looked at me straight in my eyes and said, Hannah, everything that God made valuable in this world is covered and hard to get to. Where do you find diamonds? Deep down in the ground, covered and protected. Where do you find pearls? Deep down at the bottom of the ocean, covered up and protected in a beautiful shell. Where do you find gold? Way down in the mine, covered with layers and layers of rock. You've got to work hard to get them. He then looked at me with serious eyes. Your body is sacred. You are far more precious than diamonds and pearls, and you should be covered too. قل لأزواجك وبناتك ونساء المؤمنين ونساء المؤمنين يدنين عليهن من جلابيبهن ذلك أدنى أن يعرفن فلا يؤذين وكان الله غفور